it's not a question of morality, but of power relations. If a little barge, not a ship with eight sails, welded together from seven, six or five sheets of metal for four days and three nights with a defective engine, children, mothers, unaccompanied young people and men forced on board with nothing but a shirt on their back, maybe phone and passport, without life jackets, they take up space. It's about business, profit, demand that generates offers, despair. An entire middle class from the Tunisian coast, Africa's poorest could never afford the trip, after three months of walking through the Sahara Desert, they don't know how many were left behind there, drifts east out to the sea, not towards Europe, Lampedusa, but towards death. It's not a question of morality, but coincidence, that a Tunisian trawler, they know the sea and international maritime law, it obliges to rescue, only this cannot be checked, like the UN Human Rights Convention, good sounding, mostly ineffective. The barge, full of hope for a better life, like a pinhead in endless waves, spotting that barge, called for assistance. The German rescue ship accidentally intercepts the distress call, apparently before the Tunisian Coast Guard, paid by the EU aristocrat from Brussels, the fascist from Rome, the dictator in Tunis, their hands and grin there in the photo, they don't know how to make the devil's pact visible for their European clientele knowing that no sea is too far, no fence too high. People don't come for iPhones, but out of necessity. European colonial history that never goes away. The borders, formally drawn at the card table by the whites in Berlin. Like in Risk, the strategy came, only without risk. Later, the post-colonial dictatorships, the trade restrictions towards Africa, the environmental disaster through our growth capitalism, the hopelessness, which must not be a reason for asylum. Europe agrees on this. Do you want total border protection? Do you want it more totally? It is conceivable that the crossing would be stopped by the Coast Guard. Imaginable, an intended wave from the side, filling the steel barge and letting it sink in seconds. A video from the Greek Coast Guard ripped like that in one fell swoop, hundreds into their death. It's not a question of morality, but of power strategy, firsthand, the people, destitute, traumatized, of endless days and nights at sea, the storm, the fear of death, the water hitting over the side of the ship, the never-ending exhaustion, the rust of the barge and the salt water, the gasoline from empty canisters, the sweat of fear, the urine, slushing in the barge, the pain of the abrasions that increase the tremors, or is it the other way around? The raft of Medusa, it is not a picture of the Romantic Age, no Hollywood scene, it is the AI algorithms of the phone camera that make the film clip look like this. But these stills here, entirely generated by machine learning to avoid the repetition learning from AI, not humans. The open flesh of the wounds, it is so red and so white in depth. The sobs of rescue, dangerous on the high seas. The barge threatens to tilt when it comes into contact with the rescue ship, held by two mooring lines by hand to balance the waves and the distance.
The rescuer asks himself how to strike the right tone. There were discussions about this on board and no agreement. The rescuers are all volunteers without communication training. Spread trust. Specifically, distribute life jackets. The efficiency of the rescue. To put aside the guilt of the white savior complex for a moment and all the fake photos regarding the pain of others. The doubt as to whether saving does not prolong the need. What are the prospects in Europe, outside the tomato fields in the south, waiting for asylum decisions? The stigmatization caused by the shadow economy in Europe's cities. Hours later, the distances are large. The rescue of everyone to the safe harbor of Lampedusa. It's not a question of morality, but one of good and evil, to help the arriving. The shaking has increased, no one is safe to walk anymore. On land, the K, assigned by the Italian authorities, the raw concrete, the openly protruding steel reinforcements, rusty like the barge, manufactured in Tunisia, left behind on the open sea, the ground cold and damp. Welcome to Europe, those arriving in stockings and bandages, limping and yelping in pain, despite the care provided by the medical team on board. Friendly conversations, mutual curiosity, despite the food, the aluminum-coated emergency blankets, dry clothes after showering, welcomed in Europe by a statue of the Virgin Mary enthroned above the quay, a smiling child in her arms, the golden stars of the European Union as a halo, highlighted in blue. Nobody believes this. The white savior Europe looks down mercifully. Below her, a bunker from past wars. The phalanx from Frontex, the EU's border police against migration. They start from the land side with Habibi before the evacuation. Questions about details of the trip. The migration route is expected to become even more difficult. Red Cross, military police. They work hand in hand here. A policewoman with flowing hair orders the units around. Their prison vans are visible in the distance. In the camp, they will, or whatever it is called right now, in the language of the inhumane. Deportation prison, deportation center, breathing lit, recording facility, processing line, closed controlled access center, dynamic system of migration, entry center, initial reception facility, refugee camp, refugee home, refugee center, border transit camp, hotspot, infrastructure, control center, migration center, preventive detention, registration office, registration center, relocation, protection zone, transit center, transit zones, distribution center. I just call it camp. We know what that is. I've seen it. It's around the corner with a high fence and dog patrol was sent away by security guards. Salve! Ci sono posti così belli a Lampedusa come hai potuto perderti qui? Salve, there are so beautiful places in Lampedusa. How could you get lost here? They will select, not immediately upon arrival, this consideration towards us, cosmetics. The photo for the Europe-wide wanted file. The hand scan to determine age the AI language detector for the native language. Leave the deportation decision to machines, a general amnesia for majorities in Europe.
when the distinction is not between good and evil, but between good and bad. Good are called all who control life. So it can be, it would have to be, then wouldn't it be like that, that man disappears, like on the seashore, a face in the sand. Thank <laughs> you.